So hello everyone myself Sahil Singh currently I am in the final year of my college from BIT Jhansi and currently I am uh, intern at uh, Nugen Software Limited okay so we have here Ritik Bed who is an application engineer at Google and also he was intern at Amazon so we are going to questions Ritik about his journey and his preparation that can guide us for sure okay so hi Ritik Let's start with your introduction. Hi, Sai. So, uh, my name is Ritik Baid, and uh, I am currently pursuing IT engineering at Jadavpur University. I am uh, and I'm going to join Google as an application engineer uh, in Google India. Google India. I've also done an internship at Amazon, got a PPO from there, and uh, I have also offered from. Uh, Infosys. I have done a lot of competitive coding throughout my college life, and uh, yes, that is about it from my end. Okay, so my first question is Ritik, when you have started your internship in Amazon, and how you landed into Google? Like uh, in short, you can tell. Okay, so I got an internship uh, from Amazon uh, in my campus only. So it was a non-campus offer. It started. Uh, in june last year and it was a two month internship uh so it ended uh, at on 30th july and after that google was doing pool campusing uh, in east india i think so a lot of colleges were involved and jadavpur university happened to be one of them so i got an offer from google from there okay so the thing tell me about uh, your preparation of dsa and when have started okay and which language have chosen so like uh, language itna important hai ki nahi like c++ or java ye sab so first of all i would like to mention ki i did not do any coding in my first year of uh, college oh. some other day but the point being i started my coding journey in the second year of my college and mm-hmm. uh, उस टाइम पे वी हैड अ कोर्स ऑन सी सो आई स्टार्टेड विद द बेसिक्स ऑफ सी एंड यू नो कंप्यूटर फंडामेंटल थिंग्स लाइक रिकर्शन लूपिंग कंट्रोल फ्लो ये बेसिक चीजें सीखी मैंने पहले एंड नेचुरल प्रोग्रेशन फ्रॉम सी इज टू सी प्लस प्लस मोस्ट पीपल आर ट्राइंग आउट डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस आल्सो बट आई थॉट दैट सी प्लस प्लस पढ़ना आई थिंक बेटर रहेगा क्योंकि मुझे क्लियर था कि मुझे कंपिटेटिव कोडिंग करनी है मैंने काफी लोगों को देखा था अपने सीनियर्स को भी और मेरे फ्रेंड्स भी कह रहे थे तो मुझे पता था कि मुझे कंपिटेटिव कोडिंग करनी है इसीलिए मैंने सी प्लस प्लस चूज किया उस समय क्योंकि उस टाइम सबसे ज्यादा वो यूज करते थे और उसके बाद जैसे पहले लैंग्वेज सीख ली उसके बाद आई थिंक मैं जम्प किया इन टू एल्गोरिथम एंड डेटा स्ट्रक्चर सो दैट वॉज द नेचुरल प्रोग्रेशन एंड एज फार एज द चॉइस ऑफ लैंग्वेज इज कंसर्न so you have to take a call as to what you want to do so if you want to do competitive coding i think c++ is a good option java is also a good option python not so much because uh, how uh, slow it can be at times but hmm. i think c++ ki syntax dekho aur uh, kitna performance heavy uh, matlab high performance deti hai isliye main c++ prefer ke but i think it's more about logic aap uh, aapke apne logic structures ko kaise build karte ho wo zyada important hai Rather than the choice of language, अगर logic structures अच्छे हैं thinking mm-hmm. capability अच्छी है then language won't be a barrier. So you can go ahead with any of the three popular languages which mm-hmm. I mentioned right now. Yeah. So yes, fine, Ritik. So for those who don't know, Ritik is five star on Code Chef and also candidate master at Code Forces. So on seeing your coding profile, uh, it seems very impressive. so many students have question that what it takes to build such profile and uh, like ye uh, jo profiles hain different coding platforms pe to ye interview mein help karti hain ki nahi so first answer first question ka answer to bada simple sa hai i think one word answer that is practice yeah maine 100 se bhi zyada contests di hain i have given more than 100 contests on code forces and if you combine all of the platforms i have solved lot of problems 
So yes. you know, DSA comes very naturally to you when you understand uh, when you solve so many questions and understand the intuition behind different problems. So there is no shortcut. You have to just keep coding, mm-hmm. yes. learn different things, keep coding, and you know this is how mm-hmm. it will come to you. As far as the usage of the ratings on various platforms is concerned, I think the answer to that is both a yes and no. And uh, directly no interviewer ever has asked me ki ratik what is your uh, rating on code forces or code check but so there are a lot of few companies who take into account these ratings for example i think if you are applying for code nation or uh, companies like direct type they mm-hmm. they want people who are good in cp that is that mm-hmm. is very clear and uh, even while screening you know your resume if if you if you mention mm-hmm. so let's compare two people who one who has done cp one who has not and uh, definitely the one who has done and has a good rating will be given a preference right yes so directly nahi hoti hai but it's just like cgpa hoti hai hoti hai ha hum hum kuch companies mein hoti hai correct okay so moving on the next question ditik tell me procedure of amazon in which you got the internship like how many rounds were there and other details uh, for amazon yes for amazon internship okay so the internship process for amazon was pretty easy as i mentioned it was a non campus offer mm. initially they had planned one coding round and two uh, interview rounds but i think because of the paucity of time they cut it down to one coding round and only one interview round so first okay. of all for the coding round if you wanted to get in i think they had some criteria like uh, only a few students or i think few departments were allowed but after that uh, the coding round was there and uh, not just coding i think uh, logical ability was also tested in that so after after giving that and one technical round uh, i was through uh, in the amazon internship process yes so on uh, my next question is like uh, many of the uh, student asked this question so uh, can you share the resources from which you have prepared your dsa like like many student ask about a koi book hai kya jisse padhne ke baad cp bahut achhi ho jati hai ya fir coding profile bahut achhi ho jati hai ya fir koi website like this to yaar ha of course book hai ek hai a competitive uh, programmers handbook lekin sach bolu to maine koi book padhi nahi hai kabhi i have only given contest read their editorials mm-hmm. and you know that is how you learn or geeks for geeks so definitely hai jahan pe aap ko sab kuch mil jayega i think sure. agar aap ek coding platform mein stick karo jahan aap practice kar rahe ho aur ek mm-hmm. platform pe stick karo jahan pe aap learning kar rahe ho apni jo nayi nayi cheeze seekhni hai so i think that mm-hmm. will be enough as far as improving your dsa is concerned agar aap interview ki baat karo if you want to get better at interviews then i think interview bit is one platform which can help you a lot uh lead code i do not give recommendation because you know it has a lot of problems and sometimes it becomes very difficult to kind of categorize problems uh, according to their importance as far as interviews are concerned mm-hmm. ki kaun si easy problem hai ya kaun si hard problem hai mm-hmm. I, i know ratings diye rehte hain ki hard lead code hard hai lead code mm-hmm. medium but usse kuch farak nahi padta hai usse pata nahi chalta hai mm-hmm. i think interview bit mein bahut hi structured way mein jo ekdam cut to cut मतलब क्वेश्चंस होने चाहिए वही है एंड hmm. उसके ऊपर में आप कोड फोर्सेस जैसे प्लेटफॉर्म पे प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हो ताकि अगर आउट ऑफ द ब्लू कोई क्वेश्चन आपको दे दिया गया एंड यू हैव टू डिसाइफर कि कौन सी डीएस डेटा स्ट्रक्चर या एल्गोरिथम लगानी है देन यू कैन यू नो मैनेज टू सॉल्व दैट प्रॉब्लम यू आर एबल टू सॉल्व दैट प्रॉब्लम सो आई थिंक दैट वुड बी एन एडवाइस फ्रॉम माय एंड ओके सो माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट वाज द प्रोसीजर फॉर गूगल इंटरव्यू and how you ended up getting an uh, application engineer role in it so google ke interview actually kafi bahut interesting thi mujhe yaad mm-hmm. hai maine apne internship khatam hi ki thi amazon mein aur google tabhi aayi thi hamare ka matlab pool mein and uh, usme aisa tha ki they had mentioned it very clearly from the beginning ki they required people to have good concepts of uh, system design as well because mm-hmm. there were a couple of rounds which uh, in which we were asked uh, system design questions and there were a few coding rounds as, as well in which dsa was asked so the thing was we had 
I think two to three rounds uh, of uh, data searches and algorithms. Okay. And uh, उसके बाद I think two to three rounds of system design as well. अच्छा okay. one more thing which I forgot to mention was that before that we had resume screening and after that we had got a coding round as well. So online cloud coding round जिसमें you know you have to solve two or three problems. Or which were of very good difficulty, mm-hmm. I think these mm-hmm. those were pretty hard, and uh, yeah, that is what the procedure looked like. Okay, so uh, how it is different from the uh, uh, software engineer role, like uh, majorly mm-hmm. difference in the interview. Uh-huh. So uh, what we can say is the main difference in the interview process of uh, Google Suite uh, and an application engineer. So as I mentioned, first was the online coding round, which is same for both Sui and mm-hmm. this one, a application engineer. But after that, the data structure and algorithm round, we had I think a couple of them, but I think Sui has four to five rounds. Yes. Uh, and uh, we had two system design rounds, which were uh, different actually. This is not asked to a software engi- uh, mm-hmm. engineer at uh, Google, right? Like so uh, application one... engineer, के लिए uh, system design के काफी सारे rounds हो सकते हैं possibly. डेफिनेटली होंगे एक्चुअली अगर आप रोल में डिफरेंस देखो एप्लीकेशन इंजीनियर करता क्या है तो डिफरेंस की सुई कस्टमर फेसिंग प्रोडक्ट्स बनाते हैं वेर एज एप्लीकेशन इंजीनियर मेक प्रोडक्ट्स विच आर इंटरनल टू गूगल तो जिसमें काफी डिजाइन एबिलिटी चाहिए क्योंकि सुई में क्या होता है कि यूजली द सुई फोर और आई थिंक सीनियर इंजीनियर नॉट स्वी फोर आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट दैट बट सीनियर इंजीनियर आर दन हू मेक द डिजाइन एंड देन the fresher engineers are supposed to implement it but application engineers ke liye wo nahi hai they are uh-huh. supposed to do both okay so agar application engineer ke liye jana hai to system design acha hona hi chahiye like it's compulsory i think cumulative hai dsa bhi important hai mm-hmm. ki i think uska bhi weightage tha but mm-hmm. haan def- definitely design ki knowledge zaruri hai mm-hmm. Okay, so my next question is: Other than DSA, which topics or subjects should given more focus to get in company like Amazon and Google? Okay, uh, so what these companies are basically expecting is that bacha ya candidate, ah, uh, mm-hmm. jo bhi college mein padhaya gaya, wo uske saath pura clear rahe. So basically, jo CS fundamentals wale subject hain, mm-hmm. ek ya do programming language achhi honi chahiye apke. या और hmm. उसके अलावा आपको ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग के कॉन्सेप्ट्स आने चाहिए hmm. उसके बाद ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है मतलब इंटरव्यूज में क्वेश्चन uh, पूछे जा सकते हैं okay. पूछे जाते हैं एकदम hmm. पूछे जाते हैं क्योंकि ये बेसिक चीजें हैं सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर सो Yes, of course, of course. Uh, these will become easy, but you have to know the basics. Important. Mm. Okay, so my next question is: uh, What were the challenges you have faced in your preparation, or do you in your interview process? So, yar, I have already mentioned. 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 राइट right? hmm. तो एक चैलेंज तो वही थी कि मेरे पास टाइम कम था सेकेंड hmm. ईयर के एंड में ही आ जाता है इंटर्नशिप hmm. के लिए राइट right? कंपनी hmm. तो मेरे पास तो आई थिंक आई आई ओनली वन ईयर टू प्रिपेयर फॉर इंटर्नशिप तो फर्स्ट वाज द टाइम कॉन्स्टेंट सेकेंड थिंग वाज कि आई हैड अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ नॉलेज अबाउट जावा बिफोर दैट बिकॉज मेरे बोर्ड में थे वो क्लास टेन ट्वेल्व hmm. में बट कोई मतलब उस टाइम आई यूज टू यू नो जस्ट आई मीन लर्न थिंग्स अप समहाउ एंड डू थिंग्स बट ऐसा नहीं चलता कॉलेज में आके आपको सीखने पड़ेंगे चीजें आपको समझनी पड़ेंगे राइट लाइक ऐसी कंपनीज में जाने के लिए तो ऑफ कोर्स बिल्कुल बेस्ट होना चाहिए करेक्ट हम्म तो आपको समझनी पड़ेंगे एक एक चीजें तो मैंने जैसे बोला ना रिकर्सन जैसा टॉपिक जो मुझे पहले कुछ भी समझ नहीं आता था मुझे उस पर भी टाइम देना पड़ता था तो ऐसी थी मेरी जर्नी तो बट आई हेड वेरी क्लियर इंटेंशन इन माई हेड की मुझे लैंग्वेज पढ़ के सीपी ही करनी है मैं okay. दूसरी चीजों पर अभी नहीं देखूंगा एकदम भी तो मुझे कॉलेज संभालनी है कॉलेज की जीपीए और ये मुझे डेवलपमेंट में अपना टाइम नहीं देना है अभी मशीन लर्निंग नहीं करनी है क्योंकि ये इतनी हॉट टॉपिक्स है समटाइम्स पेयर प्रेशर से लोग स्टार्ट कर देते हैं लेकिन कर देते हैं छोड़ देते हैं 
दिस इज टाइम वेस्ट मतलब इससे कुछ फायदा नहीं होने वाला है hmm. अगर आप कर रहे हो तो ढंग से करो वरना कोई मतलब नहीं राइट right? hmm. और मैंने एक चीज इंश्योर किया कि मैं कोई भी चैलेंज इंटरव्यू में फेस नहीं करूंगा इससे बेटर है मैं चैलेंजेस पहले प्रिपरेशन के टाइम में फेस कर लू जो भी हार्ड वर्क सेक्रीफाइस चाहिए hmm. पहले ही कर दूंगा तो दैट वॉज माई जर्नी ओके सो माई लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज डेट द प्रोजेक्ट थिंग an internship do these matters in interview you have given like uh, jitne bhi interview hue to pucha jata hai kya ki tumne kaha internship kari hai ya fir kitne projects hain ye sab ha definitely yaar uh, see the thing is in my google interviews also they had asked so there is something which is known as googliness round in google right so they try to evaluate your cultural uh, fit uh, whether you are a cultural fit for me or not so they had asked Uh, questions regarding my internship experiences before what happened and like how did you manage to encounter uh, the star method is very you know commonly known nowadays ki kaise aapko help karna kaise aapko apna answer present karna yeah, projects yaar see the thing is what i feel is ki they are not required as a, as i mean they are required for some companies for mm. especially for startups but mm. as far as fan companies are concerned they know that whatever projects we make as student it is going to be on a very small scale and not impacting like a million users or a, you mm. know of course or we even cannot a thousand do so. users like, like in college correct mm. known people who have done that that is not true mm. but that is i mean those are very few students right not yes. a lot of people can do that so that is my point ki projects karo aur agar kar rahe ho to aisa level pe karo ki सामने वाले को भी लगे कि हाँ इम्पैक्ट कहीं क्रिएट कर रहे हैं अगर वैसा प्रोजेक्ट बना सकते हो तो डेफिनेटली गो एड एंड डू इट बिकॉज द नंबर ऑफ पीपल डूइंग कम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग हैज इंक्रीज वेन आई हैड स्टार्टेड द नंबर ऑफ पीपल गिविंग कॉन्टेस्ट ऑन कोर्ट फोर्सेज वॉज लाइक सेवन थाउजेंड एट थाउजेंड बट नाउ डेज आई सीन अम्प टू यू नो थर्टी थाउजेंड ऑल्सो रजिस्टेंट सो दैट इज द थिंग डी एस एज ओन अलोन नॉट गोइंग टू कट इट in in future for interviews and that is you know i have sufficient data to back my claim okay so definitely projects can be yes. uh, useful in future but you know who knows <laughs> sure so rithik uh, tumhari tarf se koi ek advice student ke liye koi ek last advice i think there was a glitch uh, my son me pa okay uh, my question is like tumhari tarf se students ke liye koi ek advice okay hmm See, the thing is कि जो भी कर रहे हो यार अपने ऊपर थोड़ा कॉन्फिडेंस रखो आई हैव सीन पीपल स्विचिंग फ्रॉम कंपिटेटिव कोडिंग टू मशीन लर्निंग टू डेवलपमेंट एंड टू एंड्रॉइड डेवलपमेंट टू यू नो वेब डेवलपमेंट एंड डूइंग नथिंग इन दी एंड कुछ भी नहीं सीखे तो द थिंग इज पियर प्रेशर में आके कोई चीज स्टार्ट करके उसको बीच में छोड़ना इज नॉट समथिंग विच आई वुड रिकमेंड एंड Stick to what you are doing. It will take time. Six months, seven months. आप दोगे. मैंने भी बहुत time दिया competitive coding. तो अब ऐसे naturally मुझे DA से occur करती है कि मुझे बार अगर मुझे कोई interview के लिए prepare करना है और let's say I have not been in uh, I have not been doing coding for like six months also. Then also it will take me hardly one month, one and a half month to you know get uh, geared up for an interview. Yes. So that is what I am trying to say. जो आप कर रहे हो बहुत अच्छे से करो कि आगे भी करने की अगर उसकी आवश्यकता पड़े तो आप आराम से कर लो उसको ज्यादा टाइम दिए बिना दैट इज माय एडवाइस ओके दैट्स वेरी काइंड फ्रॉम यू रितिक सो ओके रितिक आई आई थिंक एवरीवन विल गेट इंस्पिरेशन फॉर श्योर एंड सम की एलिमेंट्स टू फॉलो फ्रॉम योर एक्सपीरियंस एंड इट विल हेल्प अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु आर गोइंग टू वॉच दिस ओके सो थैंक यू रितिक थैंक यू सो वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू से व्यूअर्स फॉर द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ दिस वीडियो Ritik himself is going to answer of your doubts in the comment section like any question you can ask so ask your doubts freely and if you like the video please subscribe this channel and for more experiences like this okay so thank you Ritik thanks sir